Now Puxatawney Phil saw his shadow could mean six more weeks of winter. You're right, just as you said, Ron, six more weeks of winter. Well, depends on how you define winter. Technically, it's the season for snow, but we've been living with mild temperatures for a while now. News Channel 5's Amanda Hara is live at Centennial Park with a look at how it's affecting the mid-state. Amanda. Hey, Vicki, nobody is complaining out here. We saw hundreds of people that came to Centennial Park today. Many of them are pushing strollers. They were walking, playing with their dogs, playing soccer. So a lot of people taking advantage of the warm weather. But you might change your mind once you hear what that weather is bringing with it. Like I have customers now that are calling me for wasps and, uh, you know, flies and ants. Ron Obney works for Honor Guard Pest Control. He says the warmer weather is waking up insects that wouldn't normally appear until spring. That means more work in a time that's typically slow for that industry. And gardeners, you better listen up. Your plants could also be at risk. We stopped by Bates Nursery in North Nashville for a look at what this warm weather means for all that hard work you've put into your shrubs, your flowers, and your trees. That spells trouble in that if cold weather returns and too much warm weather has preceded it, uh, it can do a lot of damage to plants. All right, and we're going to leave you on a good note tonight. A lot of people out there believe that this warmer weather in the middle of winter can bring on more germs, cause more instances of flu and cold, but we are told by officials at Metro's health department that is not the case. Actually getting a little fresh air is actually better for preventing the spread of germs. Live in Nashville tonight, I'm Amanda Hara at News Channel 5 HD.